maybe I need a better suction cup. Because that's the second time a camera has fallen. Fuck. Let me tell you something. Don't listen to that man, because he's an idiot. I mean, I'm an idiot. If you didn't know, I'm blindingly obvious an idiot. What? Look, to cut a long story short, I messed up the audio in this video. I bought a nice new microphone and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be sick. I didn't connect it properly so the audio didn't work. And I'm sorry. This side is, uh, there's, uh, I'll get it right next time, hopefully. But anyway, I'll let you continue watching the video and trying to decode what I say half the time. Cool, like and subscribe, thanks. Right, hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, yeah, so as you probably tell by the title, we're gonna hop in the car in a minute and go out for a little drive. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Now it is stage one, pushing about 320 brake. Saying around 320, we'll go into that, you'll see why. But I'm rambling. Uh, let's get into the car, get driving, and have a chat. So with the stage one, obviously it was done at DMS Automotives, and I've heard things about DMS that I don't know if they're true or not. They do, some people say they do a bit of uh, happy dino where they inflate your numbers a bit. I don't know if it's true. Um, they told me I was pushing about 350 brake. With the printout that I got, I didn't actually get to see the graph. Well, sorry, let me repeat. I didn't get to see all of the graph. I saw where it peaked and a short drop just after, and that was it. I, so there was a lot of things that I didn't get to see. I was told I'm making 350 break. I really don't believe that at all. Because, I mean, this car's fast. It feels fast, but it doesn't feel 350 break fast, because that's, that's like another level of fast. Although, I'm, I mean, I'm super happy with the map. Like, I went in there expecting 310, so if they've told me it's 350, and that's, say it is inflated, I'm still happy because I know it's a sound map, it's a reliable map. It sounds great. Feels great, runs great. The overrun is also great when it uh, kicks in. These hedges are really overgrown, so I can't see a lot. Anyway, oh, you are like mega dark. As I said in that, and I'm going to say again here, it is front wheel drive, and I'm never going to get like an amazing launch out of it. But I'll do some launching later, and you'll see for yourselves. Like it's fun, but it's just not ever going to be like an wheel drive kind of launch. I was hoping that the roads might be a bit more quiet today. I don't know why I thought that, but it's a GR coming off after. Oh, it's so good. See, as you can see, when I'm recording a POV, my vision is so bad because I've just got this thing in my face. Like, it's not great, 
but we make do with what we've got. Just got to hit a bit of a lean so I can see where I'm going. Hopefully, we've given it a minute and all the cars are now gone. Sport. We're in second. Drop the speed a little bit. Let's go. Probably should have waited until I was on like a straight to do that.
Right, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, you're a hero and I love you. Um, I am really sorry about the shitty audio. I will have that fixed for the next video, but is what it is. I already, <laughs> I already recorded that twice, what you just watched. So I'm not doing it again. Yeah, so, uh, oh, this, this frame, oh, I like this frame. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be like a year review of my car because we've had it about a year now. So yeah, thank you. Push buttons down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.